Hey everyone, Pastor Mike here, New Life Church. I hope that you're having a great week. I know that last week we spent some time talking about relationships and, and how to have a 521 relationship, uh, a relationship that's based on Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21. And uh, if you didn't catch that message, I, I hope that you'll uh, go online and take a look at it. Uh, pretty critical for all the relationships that, that we are involved in, that we um, treat each other with respect and love and uh, mutual submission. And so um, that was last week. As we come to this coming week, we're going to be talking about evil and the many ways that it, it presents itself. And so um, there are two things I have on my brain in preparation to that is, one, if you'll post below uh, who your favorite cartoon evil character is or one that you've seen in a movie, uh, let's, and post that below. Don't post anything like a, a current leader or whatever, and let's not... Uh, get uh, too over the top with this, but let's keep it humorous and, and light um, and see what you come up with, whether it's Gru from, uh, with the Minions or whether it's Darth Vader. Post, post your picture below. Anyway, one of my favorites might be uh, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Um, but as I get uh, ready for this um, Sunday's message, sometimes people are interested in some of the resources I use, and one that I've used in the past and draw a lot on on this topic is this book by Randy Alcorn, if God is good, and that's, that's a, a good resource that if you're interested in knowing uh, about faith in the midst of suffering and evil, a great resource. Another one that uh, I recently picked up, haven't finished reading, but getting into is uh, Evil and the Justice of God by N.T. Wright. So those are just two resources if you're looking for something to go a little bit deeper uh, in this topic that, uh, that I um, encourage to you and your care. But uh, I hope that you're enjoying our study on the book of Ephesians. I hope that you're still looking into that daily devotion. If you haven't picked it up, there's one online or you can get one at, at church this Sunday. And um, I hope that you have a good rest of the week. Look forward to seeing you in worship at 10 a.m. God bless.